my team and me, um, the Peruvian national team, we went to Brazil to the South American Junior Championship, and there the first two teams, the like the play second, first and second, um, qualify for this event, and we had the privilege of winning. I mean, we worked hard throughout a year just to get that goal, and Hubert, Santiago, and me, um, like got it done on the last round. So it's it was pretty impressive and. Now we're flying to Japan, one of a kind experience. You don't get every day to represent your country in in Japan or you know, like in the highest stage of junior golf by teams, just to say it that way. But I mean, I've I've practiced hard. I've I've done the right things that I had to do. I'm playing really well, so I'm just looking forward to it. Um, my coaches Kevin, Zach, and Nate and. David have like are always on top of me I and mean, I've done some work on my own side with my mental coach Fran and I mean I've I've put a lot of hours into this game lately and I think I'm ready for this for this new challenge and my team also in Peru are they are ready too they've they've invested a lot of time in the gym in the range everywhere just to get ready with our head coaches Alan Ford and Diego Martinez um, well every time I'm selected by the Peruvian Golf Federation. It's like a different feeling from a normal event. I mean, just playing for my country and having the red and white on my shirt and like looking red and white on my teams, I think it just like gives me that extra and like it can't, it like, I don't know, I, I play better when I play for my team, so for my country. So I think that I just need to have the same feeling and. I, I think we could like do a good job in Japan. Um, no, I just want to give thanks to all the guys in Peru, all the people that have given us support and to my coaches, to my coaches, my family and to God for giving me this opportunity.